<clears throat> okay good morning everyone uh, again the same question uh, i am visible uh, i'm uh, whatever the things are there is visible and uh, i am audible okay anyone can uh, answer in chat uh, everything is fine we can we can start <clears throat> Hello. Is it properly audible? Okay. 
<coughs> now uh, the thing we have we have discussed uh, earlier uh, that is uh, regarding uh, calculations okay so i think uh, up to this particular point we have come is it we have taken uh, uh, the boundary conditions and based on the boundary conditions we have found out uh, this particular equation is it right So that way I can start with the, uh, the this particular point. Only beauty is covered. Okay. Uh, in case, okay, okay. Uh, we haven't covered uh, covered these problems. Okay, these problems are covered, right? Uh, so. Uh, th this particular condition uh, we haven't uh, we haven't covered right uh, regarding uh, this one this particular problem is covered okay so we have i think we have come up to this particular point right the problem so, uh, only one problem okay so uh, the thing is that we have we have, uh, we have gone for um, um, uh, this particular part of of a beauty in in a, in a beauty again uh, we have seen that how how the beauty is been determined and based on the determination of the beauty uh, in, in the lab uh, there are various restrictions out of those restrictions we have um, uh, uh, we have uh, solved the, uh, the problem regarding the restriction we have solved the problem regarding the restriction uh, that that uh, whatever the uh, the uh, wastewater wastewater quality is there that uh, the wastewater strength we can say the the wastewater strength we have uh, we have gone for uh, the, the, this particular observation that is initial observation we have taken the final observation we have we have, we have taken and uh, and it has been uh, it has been uh, uh, multiplied by dilution factor because uh, dilution we have to carry out. If, if it is not, then wastewater strength, because of the wastewater strength, we may get uh, uh, this zero, zero reading. Okay. And uh, uh, and based on that, we have calculated the BOD, uh, BOD in, the, in, the, in the standard condition, that is five days and uh, 20 degree, uh, uh, this one, uh, temperature. <coughs> so uh, likewise, um, uh, this, this one problem we have, we have covered yesterday. Now uh, the next problem again uh, two three problems are there. We'll be we'll be covering those uh, those various problems again. Uh, those things are based on 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 previous uh, understanding. So please do have a proper understanding. As I, again um, every in every lecture I would I would suggest you to have pen with pen and paper so that uh, it is quite possible for you to prepare your notes, prepare your, your uh, and carry out your calculations. So you do have be be ready with your calculator too. Uh, answers would be given no doubt but still uh, you have to carry mm -hmm. out the details mm -hmm. so that it would be uh, easier for you to understand so the thing is that <clears throat> uh, uh, the next uh, the next problem the next problem is uh, is, is this one okay now in, in this particular problem that uh, the direct uh, uh, answer has been given so in in, uh, in this uh, the, the uh, basic problem is um, uh, initial observation that is initial duo uh, of the mix is uh, is eight okay? Uh, final duo of the mix is uh, two. That means what? This is the standard condition we have. We uh, we are going for that is twenty degrees Celsius and uh, five days incubation. So we would be keeping uh, keeping that sample and th that sample is go, uh, giving us this this particular result. Okay, uh, that is uh, eight milligram per liter initial uh, dissolved oxygen, uh, uh, two milligram per liter uh, dissolved oxygen after five days and twenty degree uh, incubation. Okay, now uh the problem is here the problem is given that that whatever the uh, this dilution is there that dilution is being carried out with 2 ml wastewater 2 ml sewage okay so volume of sewage we are utilizing is 2 ml so that is why whatever the dilution factor we have we would be utilizing the dilution factor would be in 300 ml bottle 2 ml of uh, wastewater we are utilizing that is why uh, uh, this particular dilution factor would be there okay so this particular dilution factor we are utilizing and because of that this uh, this uh, this uh, subtraction is been multiplied with this particular dilution factor so that we are going to get 
the uh, the strength of wastewater in terms of uh, in in terms of uh, BOD. Okay, the biochemical oxygen demand. Of that uh, sewage is 900 milligram per liter. Why? Because initial observation is eight, final observation is two, which is the observation of that particular mix. Okay. Why that? Uh, how that mix is being carried out? In 300 ml uh, uh, bottle of uh, the uh, distilled water, uh, we have added two ml of sewage. That two ml of wastewater. So this 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 particular uh, dilution factor is, uh, dilution factor has been carried out, and based on this particular dilution factor, uh, we have gone for this particular uh, uh, answer. Okay, if the dilution factor is not there, so the sewage is is not uh, that that's uh, strong. Then direct eight minus two, uh, we would we would get that answer as uh, six milligram per liter. That is the strength. Uh, that is the uh, demand. Okay, so right now the demand is the uh, uh, oxygen demand is nine hundred milligram per liter. Okay. So if you have any doubts, uh, you can put it in in in, uh, in the chat. Okay. <clears throat> so we are we are solving uh, uh, the uh, examples. Now the next one is uh, the uh, the next factor is, uh, is is very very necessary, very important. Uh, whenever uh, again the next problem is uh, that the, that the problem is uh, the uh, wastewater is taken. Okay. Now in case of wastewater, again uh, we are going for this particular dilution factor. Okay. So a uh, direct dilution factor is been given, uh, and uh, the initial observation is uh, is taken. Now the, this initial observation is initial observation of mix. Okay, direct uh, direct mix is been is been carried out because whenever the dilution factor is there, that means what? Whatever uh, the solution is there, that solution is mix mix of distilled distilled water and sewage or distilled water and wastewater. Okay, so that particular uh, 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 this one uh, is that mix. Uh, the initial observation is seven milligram per liter. Now, next one is very important. Uh, the the final observation is zero. Okay. Now, in case whenever the the final observation is zero, that means the uh, whatever the test we have carried out, that test is is now uh, uh, a test is failure. Okay. Test has failed. Why? Because uh, whatever the observation we have uh, gone for now in uh, in, the, in this case, uh, dissolved oxygen uh, uh, initial. And dissolved oxygen initial is seven milligram per liter, but after that, whatever the uh, uh, process is been going on, that in, in that particular process, the, uh, the that organic matter has to be consumed for uh, remaining five days. Okay, in twenty degrees Celsius, uh, that particular incubation. So whenever it it is been carried out, and afterwards it should have certain reading. If it is not having certain reading, that means what? Uh, we we uh, we cannot guess that at what point uh, the organic matter or uh, at uh, what point that a dissolved oxygen has become zero. Okay, so this means that our our uh, test, whatever test we have we have kept for that test is not a uh, test is not uh, uh, it, it it is a failure. Okay, it is not giving us a correct correct reading, right? So. When that uh, when that uh, dissolved oxygen become became zero, we don't know. It uh, it may uh, it might have become uh, zero after one one and a half or two days, three days. We don't know. But it should give us reading after five days. Okay, so dissolved oxygen has to be there after after five days. If it is not there, if it is not giving uh, uh, giving us a result, then that test is we can directly write down that test as failure. Okay. So even even whatever the uh, dilution factor, if, if everything is there, the the uh, test is failure. The test is not going to give us uh, uh, give us any any result. Okay. So it uh, it is the test without any result. This is the, the this is the uh, uh, we can say we can have the conclusion of of this particular test itself. Okay. So why again uh, 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 again the thing is that here uh, we have got here in, uh, let, let us uh, take this particular problem. In this particular problem. Uh, the initial reading is there final reading is there initial reading is 8.5 final reading is uh, is, is 5.5 okay so uh, here we can we can say that initial uh, uh, oxygen initial dissolved oxygen is 8.5 and final oxygen is 5.5 the, so the the, the uh, oxygen is remaining over there uh, so oxygen is give, going to give a certain reading but in this case we don't know at what point that that uh, reading has uh, oxygen has come to zero Okay, so that is why we can we can uh, say that test is failure. That's why uh, whatever the uh, test is there, that test has to be uh, carried out again, right? So for that particular uh, wastewater, we have to carry out that particular test again. 
okay so the estimating bod uh, uh, we we should not carry out the estimation of bod with with just just one test so right now this, uh, just for the sake of the problem uh, these, these are the details which have been given and based on these details we have uh, we have found out uh, the the results okay but uh, whenever we are going for laboratory estimation in case of laboratory estimation we cannot we should not go for uh, just just a single reading okay so we have to go for the multiple readings so that uh, after getting the multiple readings and multiple uh, dilution factors then we will be uh, coming to a uh, one one solution so uh, even when, whenever we are we are going for a uh, we are utilizing a, a, a single uh, single sewage and if even if you are going for uh, multiple uh, dilution factors uh, the the result is not going to change okay but uh, but we have to carry out the, those those things so that it would be uh, it would be easier for us or uh, whatever the results are there those results should not be a failed results okay so result uh, initial initial uh, result of it is going to give after afterwards after 5 days result, uh, result should not be zero okay so uh, one one problem i'll take uh, the problem is like this so the, the, this uh, this should be understood first of all whenever we are we are going for a uh, estimation of when, uh, or determination say, uh, in in the case of determination uh, result in uh, oxygen initial is is uh, is going to give us some certain result but the result oxygen uh, final if it is zero there itself we should not go for any kind of calculation there itself we should write that test is failed okay whatever the uh, uh, dilution factor has been utilized or not even even the dilution factor if it is not utilized even even in in that case the you know, whatever um, uh, test is there that test is failed because of this particular zero result okay so the thing is that the reason is that we don't know at what or what point that that uh, that uh, dissolved oxygen has become zero so that is why we cannot uh, estimate that at this particular point the the uh, result has been zero, uh, zero. okay dissolved oxygen has been zero so we can, we cannot estimate that so that is why uh that that test is uh, test is failed and the, uh, the the failure of the test is because of uh the dilution factor so whatever the dilution factor is there that dilution factor has to be more so in this in this case the dilution factor is 100 that means what whatever the sewage strength is there that sewage strength we have uh, haven't estimated the uh, the the whatever the sewage or wastewater is there that wastewater is strong and because of the uh, strongness of the wastewater whatever the organic matter concentration is that uh, it is more and because of that particular more concentration we have to disperse those uh, uh, that particular uh, organic matter and whenever the dispersal uh, if, it is, if it is required that means what uh, uh, dissolved oxygen uh, sorry uh, uh, this, this particular um, uh, dilution factor has to uh, has to be more okay so uh, dilution factor here it is it has been taken as less that is why the the uh, we can say organic matter uh, matter is more and in, in that case dissolved oxygen whatever the dissolved oxygen which has been available in that bottle that is not enough uh, uh, for consumption okay and because of that it has become zero and what at what point it has become zero we don't know so that is why uh, there itself we should write that dissolved uh, the whatever the result is there that test this result is felt right now the uh, the problem we can take so you can take uh, uh, i'll, I'll uh, illustrate uh, first of all the problem then uh, you can take it down now uh, the the thing is that um, uh, there the, there are four five uh, columns. First column is of sewage volume, okay, uh, wastewater volume. <clears throat> Second uh, one is observation. Third one is observation. Third uh, uh, next one is a dilution factor, okay, and uh, the the last one is the result calculation. Now in case in case um, uh, these 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 observations are for only one type of wastewater. Whatever the wastewater is there, uh, that wastewater. <clears throat> Okay. So, so that 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 particular uh, that particular wastewater we have taken that uh, that particular sample. After taking that sample, we have prepared three uh, uh, three solutions. Okay, uh, same sample has been taken, and we have we have uh, we are preparing three solutions because we don't know uh, what what uh, this uh, dilution factor would be applicable. So that is why we are uh, carrying out the uh, uh, test only for one uh, wastewater sample and that uh, test would be carried uh, car carried for uh, three samples okay so the same uh, same sample we are we are going to take and uh, the, the same sample is been applicable for uh, these these various volumes now we'll take 300 ml bottle uh, all 300 uh, 300 ml bottle will take so, uh, at this particular point we'll be adding uh, 295 uh, ml of uh, digital water and and 5 ml of sewage okay uh, second in second one uh, we are going to add 
uh, 290 ml of uh, distilled water 10 ml of sewage okay next one is <coughs> uh in in third one we are going to add 250 ml of uh, distilled dist dist water and 50 ml of waste water okay so likewise these these uh, various combinations we have done and again the sewage or waste water is same okay so the dilution factor just we have we are varying the dilution factor even even in case uh, we can we can take uh, uh the the whole sample also okay but right now the the three samples are uh, are been prepared now after uh, preparing these three samples now dissolve uh, dissolve oxygen of mix we are going to calculate now dissolve oxygen of uh, dissolve oxygen of the mix how to calculate the dissolve oxygen of the mix <coughs> here uh just in in previous this thing uh, we we have gone for now this uh, this one dissolve oxygen initial we are ca calculating right now the dissolve oxygen of the mix is been calculated as uh, uh, volume of distilled water and uh, uh, dissolved oxygen of distilled water or plus volume of sewage plus uh, multiplied by uh, dissolved oxygen of the, the that particular sewage divided by uh, volume of uh, uh, the distilled water plus uh, volume of sewage okay so if uh, by this formula it is quite possible for us to calculate the dissolved oxygen of mix okay so the dissolved oxygen of the mix means uh, this one so volume of uh, this one uh, volume of sewage and volume of distilled water so this this particular volume uh, volume we are going to carry out as, as variation and whenever we are carrying out this particular variation that means what whatever the dissolved oxygen is there that dissolved oxygen would be having having variation because of the addition of this uh, volume of uh, waste water or sewage okay so in this manner uh, this uh, there are these these results we are we are getting uh, after adding 5 ml uh, this this is the dissolved oxygen of the mix after adding 10 ml this is the dissolved oxygen of the mix after adding 50 ml we are this is the dissolved oxygen of the mix okay so this is the uh, this is the observation on zero day the initial observation dissolved oxygen initial we are getting as 9.2 9.1 8.4 for these uh, combinations okay for addition of 5 for addition of 10 for addition of 50 ml of sewage now these samples there are three samples now 1 2 and 3 now these three samples we are going to keep for incubation again that incubation is 20 uh, degrees celsius and uh, uh, that would be again kept for 5 days okay after 5 days we are going to uh, take out the uh, take out those bottles and then we'll be uh, determining the final duo now after uh, taking the, this particular first sample you know, uh, the first sample is uh, we are we are, uh, we are getting the result as 6.9 so final dissolved oxygen we are getting here as 6.9 right in the second one the second uh, in, in second case we are getting the uh, dissolved oxygen as 4.4 okay now in third case the dissolved oxygen we are getting as zero that means this particular sample whatever we have kept here that sample doesn't uh, uh, is failed okay test is failed it can be determined so uh, here itself we can write the test is failed so earlier it was uh, it was a thing that uh, we were carrying out three samples and we were getting average of three uh, results now uh the the one one test is failed that is why whatever result we are going to carry out uh, calculate over here uh we are going to uh, take average of these two uh, these two results only not the not the third one because third one is test is failed it is not zero mind it well the third third one would be uh, the the test is failed okay so as per the volume added dilution factor has been calculated so uh, 300 uh, uh, 5 ml in 300 10 ml in 300 and 50 ml in 300 so those dilution factors we, uh, are here and based on those various uh, dilution factors we are getting uh, the results okay so re result would be calculated as the initial initial uh, do uh, minus uh, final do multiplied by dilution factor right uh, in, in this case we are getting this one result initial do minus final do multiplied by uh, uh, dilution factor this is the result okay so whatever the dilution factor we, we may vary the results would be uh, result would be on the same okay so in this case we can observe the, uh, these are the results so uh, this is first result second result so because of the third result is failed uh, that is why we are going to take the average of two so first result second result average of the those actual average beauty uh, of that sewage is 139.5 that is the case so if this uh, this is done uh, understood properly then um, uh, you can you can take it down as as the as the uh, a problem in the, in the in the uh, problem uh, that sewage has been taken and uh, the, those uh, that sewage is, uh, uh, is is taken for these various uh, these various uh, variation of volume okay 
and uh, these are the observations the, uh, after uh, before and after that is uh, initial observation final observation and then you can go for the calculation so directly this this particular chart if you if you take uh, you, you 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 are in the position to understand it okay <clears throat> but uh, every now and then even whenever you you would be uh, referring it afterwards you should you should be in a position to understand it so that is why uh, if it is possible for you to write it down in words please write it down in words and then you can take it down this one and then and then calculation you can carry out so that it uh, uh, the result would be this one okay so i'll give you one minute for that so that um, you can you can take down the details uh, till then if you have any any doubts any any problem if it is there uh, you can put it in chat Let's guess that uh, there is no uh, any no problem. Uh, so we can we can go further uh, with this one. So uh, it should be it should be understood that whatever the results we are going to get, final result if it's zero, then uh, we have, uh, we should write uh, that as a test as well. And uh, the observations here you can you can see the initial observation we should have, final observation we should have, and based on that, uh, based on the relation factor we can get uh, our uh, BOD that is biochemical oxygen demand. Okay, so here you can see the, the uh, in general the average uh, biochemical oxygen demand of that particular seabed would be about 139-140 milligram per liter, right? So uh, that means what? Whatever the wastewater is there, that wastewater one liter. If you are if you are uh, disposing that particular wastewater, it is going to consume about 140 milligram of dissolved oxygen. That is the that is the uh, calculation. So in this manner, the uh, we we are going to uh, see. That um, whatever uh, the wastewater which has been generated in a in a town or in a city, that particular wastewater is been is to be, is to be uh, disposed, and during the disposal, how it is going to have the effect on that particular disposal site. Disposal site would generally would be a river. <coughs> so if it is over, then uh, we can we can go for the further part. Okay. In case of uh, uh, further part, uh, uh, further part is 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 a, is a kind of math, is a is model, okay, Bury model. Now, whenever uh, we are concerned about about these observations, again we'll we'll see about this particular thing. Uh, whenever we are concerned about uh, uh, certain certain uh, sewage problem, uh, then uh, every time we have to go for uh, these observations, various observations we have to carry out, and uh, after we are getting those various observations, then we uh, then it is. Uh, uh, it has to be estimated that uh, how what what uh, uh, action we have to take. That is, uh, in, in case of uh, we can say uh, treatment, what what treatment has to be carried out. Okay, so uh, every time we have to we have, we have to be dependent on these particular laboratory results so that uh, uh, it is going to give us idea that how much is the strength of the of the wastewater and based on the strength of the wastewater, then we have to go for uh, the treatment. Now, um, uh, practically, if you see. Uh, again, uh, practically, we what we have done, we have we have taken uh, taken instead of twenty two days, we have taken five days uh, results. Okay, sixty to seventy percent results. Uh, even after getting uh, those those five days results, but still, uh, practically uh, on the day one, if the if the wastewater is available, we have to take uh, action or we have to carry out uh, some kind of treatment, or we will come to know about the, uh, about the idea of the of the wastewater strength uh, on on uh, about about the fifth fifth or sixth day. Okay, so in this manner, uh, uh, the, practically it, it would be it would be uh, very much difficult for us uh, to take uh, some some action so that uh, the treatment of the wastewater is being carried out. So for that particular reason, we have to go for uh, uh, some some kind of uh, some kind of model. Okay, so that is that is the mathematical model. What, how the mathematical model would have uh, help us 
that uh, uh, whenever the various results have been taken and based on those those various results we we would we would estimate uh, uh, so some uh, some initial initial observations we can have and based on those various various in, uh, initial observations then it, uh, it is quite possible for us to put those uh, results in uh, in that particular model and after getting uh, some result from that uh, model then we can uh, here itself it is it is quite possible for us to estimate that on day one that this uh, this uh, these are the results this would be the results uh, after after five days and and based on those uh, on the dates they want itself it is quite possible for us to take a uh, uh, some some uh, treatment action okay so for that particular reason itself the mathematical model is been developed okay mathematical model generally would be developed for uh, for this particular reason so uh, in in various subjects the mathematical model would be there uh and and uh, out of those in in, in case of anomaly engineering the mathematical uh, model uh, is it's been developed and that is that is because of uh, because of this, this particular reason that's what whatever whatever the treatment is there that treatment has to be estimated uh, so the treatment has to be uh, carried out and for carrying out the particular uh, treatment uh, the result has uh, has to be estimated okay so for estimating those results the mathematical model has to be carried out okay so that uh, that is why we are we are going for uh, this particular mathematical model. There, there are uh, two three ma mathematical model we uh, I have included in 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 a syllabus. Out of this this uh, this this is the one uh, the mathematical model we are going to see. So uh, this this the uh, this particular model is going to give us idea regarding uh, what would be the beauty. Okay, some some observations we'll take, and based on those various observations, uh, uh, we can estimate the the beauty. Right now, if you go on the field, uh, in case of the field, uh, these are the these are the various observations we have to carry out. That means what? First of all, we have to we have to collect wastewater. Okay, after collecting the wastewater, then we have to uh, we have to uh, carry out uh, these these three of the, uh, the um, in the, in this particular case, we have to go for uh, these these three uh, sample preparation of the same wastewater. Then again, we have to go for this uh, uh, initial observations of all the three samples. Then uh, the final observations, uh, whatever the dilution factor is there, we have to esti uh, estimate that uh, what would be the dilution factor. Okay. So in, in, in some cases, it may happen this, that if the strength is more, strength of the wastewater is more, then in, in uh, even in, in this, uh, uh, whatever the uh, uh, dilution factor we have selected, those, uh, those, dilution, the, uh, those dilution factor, uh, with those dilution factor, uh, the test can be failed. Okay, in in all three uh, cases, the the test can be failed. So at at that particular point, uh, whatever the results we are, we are going to get, or whatever the is uh, the thing we have carried out, that can be that that can be uh, failed. Okay, so we we don't get a uh, result for, based on that particular part. So this may happen. It it uh, it all depends on on the kind of experience uh, the environmental engineering uh, or engineer do have. Okay, but still uh, we have to carry out the, this this whole work and then then get the, get the result and then we, we have to go for uh, this one or uh, treatment aspect. But instead of that, uh, some some initial results we can uh, we can take and we can go for uh, that, that particular model. So because before going for uh, that that uh, mathematical expression of the of the of the, uh, the uh, that model, we have to understand first of all. Okay, so certain things we have to understand and those those things are being represented uh, over here in in terms of uh, graph okay now these these two graphs are exactly opposite now the the first graph you can you can uh, you can observe right so in in first graph here uh, the the two things are being given uh, on x axis there is time uh, in case of beauty time would be always in, in terms of days because uh, the details uh, whatever the organic matter is there that all organic matter would be consumed within days it is it is not it won't be uh, uh, less than less than days Okay, so it would be definitely in, in terms of days itself. So time would be in terms of days. Now, second on on y-axis we have we do have organic matter. Okay. Now what we'll do? We'll we'll uh, observe what how that organic matter is being consumed uh, throughout the, the, uh, these these uh, these various days. Okay. Now if you, if we take uh, the the sample, uh, the sample if you if you observe that how, how much is the organic matter, the maximum organic matter uh, uh, here uh, we can we can estimate uh, we can, we can determine. Okay, so maximum organic matter here is L zero right now. So that particular organic matter is been present at day zero. That is the case. Right. Now uh, if we if you uh, keep the the uh, sample as it is uh, for incubation, you can say. Then, in case of incubation, what happens? That whatever the organic matter is there, that organic matter would be uh, uh, would be consumed. Okay, so this one is the consumption of the organic matter. 
so during that that particular process the organic matter would be consumed so here uh, this this particular part uh, some suppose uh, this is the end end of the uh, that, that test uh, during the end of the test it may happen uh, okay any doubt any problem is there okay hmm. So in, the, in in case of uh, uh, this particular part of uh, in case of this um, uh, part of uh, this one uh, organic matter now organic matter would be there and that organic matter is going to be consumed and this is the this is the end of the uh, result so um, again we can we can estimate that is about more than 22 uh, 20 22 days uh, the the uh, this this particular part. Uh, would be that is organic matter would be getting getting less and less and it would be uh, somewhere uh, here it would be zero now uh, we are more concerned about uh, how is that organic matter has been consumed okay and uh, then uh, we'll be estimating that how much is the, uh, the the it is going to put oxygen demand on it okay so now here you can see that uh, generally we we, uh, we uh, take uh, that at any, any point t okay so let us see uh, let us take uh, as, as at, at day uh, fifth day if if the if the, the this particular observation if you take then this this happens that about uh, 60 to 70 percent uh, organic matter has been consumed. So here you can see at that at this particular point this particular organic uh, organic uh, mat, uh, matter is been present. So this one is the organic matter which is uh, which is been uh, which is been present. So organic matter which is been removed or consumed we can say uh, it is from uh, maximum to uh, this particular point. So LT is remaining. That means what? L0 minus LT, this, this particular organic matter is removed, or the, this particular organic matter has been consumed. Okay, so this is the, the this is the uh, the observation or whatever the BOD we are we are calculating, this is uh, dependent on uh, this particular factor that is L, L minus LT, L0 minus LT. So maximum organic matter has been present and the organic matter which has been present after a certain day. So right now we are concerned about BOD. So we'll take observation, uh, let us uh, take uh, for our understanding, we'll take uh, this P days as fifth, fifth day. Okay, so after five days, this is the this is the case, right? So this this uh, uh, this you might might have uh, understood. Okay, so the the observation and organic matter consumption we have represented on this particular graph, right? Now uh, during the consumption, during the consumption of the organic matter, uh, at the similar time, at the similar point, uh, there there is consumption uh, of oxygen too, right? Now the, the the same is being represented on the other graph. Now this one is the other graph. On this particular other graph, the the time in days. Now on y-axis we are going to represent how much is the biochemical oxygen demand. How much is the oxygen uh, is being consumed, right? So uh, here you can say at L zero at at this particular point at time zero. Sorry, uh, at uh, at L zero means maximum maximum uh, this one. Um, uh, maximum organic matter present now whenever the maximum organic matter is it is been consumed so that means this this is the organic matter which has been consumed then you can say at, at this particular point that organic matter has been consumed means, uh, that means what ultimate beauty that means uh maximum beauty has been available at this point that is the case right so that is why it has been uh, uh, called as beauty ultimate or beauty uh subscript u right so beauty subscript u if it is, if it is written uh, uh, then that that means what the, the beauty uh, is been uh, present uh, ultimately over there Ulti uh, ultimate beauty is been present over there now at at this particular point that means at time zero here zero days whatever the or uh, this uh, uh, we can say uh, organic matter consumption is there that organic matter consumption is zero that means maximum organic matter is been present right and from this particular point there would be consumption of oxygen as the consumption of organic matter takes place there would be consumption of uh, this oxygen and because of the consumption of the oxygen you can see uh, here the uh, the graph is been increasing in this particular manner that means what uh, whatever our oxygen demand is there that oxygen demand is increasing increasing because of uh, the organic matter which has been consumed here Right. So that is uh, these are these are the two uh, two graphs you can say which which we can we can have the overlapping of this uh, these two graphs. Most of, most of the books uh, you would get the all of uh, overlapping of these two graphs. Okay. So overlapping uh, is is somewhat uh, somewhat confusing. That is why I have uh, uh, got you this 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 but uh, these two graphs separately. But otherwise, uh, th uh, there would be overlapping of these uh, graphs. Okay. So uh, in this case, again, we'll take the example of T. 
t number of days that is fifth day on the fifth day what happened is uh, this much is the uh, this much is the oxygen demand that means this was uh, would be a, a beauty okay so yt would be uh, the uh, yt that is y5 okay on fifth day this one would be the oxygen demand right so this is the oxygen demand why at time t this one would be lt consumed now organic matter consumed or on, uh, organic matter removed is this is the maximum orga organic matter and this one is the organic matter which has been present at day 5 so l0 minus l5 would be this much is the organic matter which has been present over here so whenever this this particular organic matter has been consumed that means what at that particular point this is the uh, this is the uh, biochemical oxygen demand over there okay so this uh, again uh, as as the uh, organic matter has been consumed the the further demand of oxygen would be there and uh, that demand would be increasing increasing uh, up to ultimate beauty right but we are we are not going for uh, ultimate beauty we are we are going for uh, this particular part that is uh, at at five at day, day five what what is the concept what is the uh, what is the condition okay so this one would be the condition that is a uh, biochemical oxygen demand we have to measure from this end to this end this is the biochemical oxygen demand right so that biochemical oxygen demand is y5 okay y uh, yt or y5 okay so y5 that is why uh, y after five days biochemical uh, oxygen demand after five days is this much that means what uh, uh, the uh, the organic consumption after five days is this much organic consumption after uh, five days is l0 minus l5 so this uh, these are the uh, two graphs we have to always remember we have to take into consideration and then uh, if you understand well then you can have the overlapping of these two uh, uh, graphs so that one graph you would get in this particular manner second graph you would get in this particular manner so that uh, uh, there would be uh, there would be intersection and that intersection you would to get uh, it as uh, the, uh, lt and uh, yt which has been which has been uh, you are getting at at the same point if it is uh, if it is possible for you then uh, do it otherwise uh, always uh, do have the representation of uh, these uh, these graphs separately so one uh, one graph one graph we are we are getting for organic matter consumption second uh, uh, graph we are getting for uh, bod which has been uh, required okay at, at the same time at the same time the bod requirement would be so bod requirement in terms of milligram per liter organic uh, matter again it would be in terms of uh, milligram per liter for uh, this one so in this manner the the uh, graphs are there those, those graphs are to be understood and then and then uh, we can we can go for the further mathematical expression right please do have uh, uh, doubts been asked then uh, we can go for uh, further explanation So the thing is that whenever we are going for any uh, these one calculations, whenever we are going for utilization of uh, any uh, any model, we should understand the basics. So um, I can I can estimate that uh, you you understood the, the the various basics regarding regarding the uh, beauty part, okay, biochemical oxygen demand part, and based on that particular uh, beauty part. Uh, it's quite uh, possible for you as a, as a hydraulic engineer. Okay, you 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 are you are going for, going to go for uh, uh, as as a work as a hydraulic engineer. It may be private, it may be um, government. So in, in both the cases, you have to uh, go for these various calculations. Otherwise, what happens that uh, I have seen on the on the side itself that uh, uh, most of the uh, engineers do do have have that particular position, but they don't don't know about. Um, uh, the part which is which uh, which is how, how to estimate okay so the estimation and all, uh, everything has to be has to be proper so that you understand here itself uh, so that it would be easier easier for you to uh, utilize the, this particular knowledge there uh, this is one thing and and second one at at various uh, levels APC, MPC, whatever uh, this one uh, the 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 percentage of anomaly engineering is uh, is more than 33% so every time we have to uh, we have to go for uh, these various uh, calculations so the theoretically or practically we have to utilize these various things so that it could be 
uh, useful for you. So please do have uh, the the usefulness of this information. Okay, and then we can we can go for uh, uh, for the calculations. For the calculations are based on uh, these these basic understandings. Okay, so BOD model is uh, we we are going to um, uh, have the BOD model for uh, for that. It would require a certain certain time. Again, so in the next lecture we'll be we'll be carrying out uh, that particular part, mm -hmm. right? So uh, right now, uh, do have uh, uh, the concentration of this particular part that is my, uh, the uh, graphical representation, how the organic matter is been uh, consumed, and how the beauty uh, that is oxygen demand is in there. Based on these two things, uh, then it would be possible uh, possible for you to represent these uh, these various uh, uh, these one terms. Now this one uh, term is L zero is the maximum organic matter which is been present. L T is the term which has been utilized for uh, the uh, the organic matter which has been present after a certain period, the time t after time t. Okay, so if it is five, then L five it would be L five. So L zero. Uh, the initial uh, organic matter pre uh, present l5 is pre uh, organic matter which is been present after five days l0 minus l5 that is the organic matter which is been uh, removed uh, uh, during uh, the, the the five days okay so that is the case uh, here the uh, the t again five days uh, yt which, which would be bod bod5 after after five days the bod what what is the uh, uh, biochemical oxygen demand the oxygen demand is increasing in this particular manner and at this at this point we can have the determination of the bod biochemical oxygen demand so that you can you can get the value that this one is the amount of uh, oxygen which has been uh, required okay which is been required in that particular uh, wastewater after disposal uh, to remove organic matter that is the case okay so beauty model uh, that is why the mathematical model we are we are going for in this mathematical model we are going to utilize um, based on this this particular factors uh, based on this understanding we can we can go for uh, uh, further things further uh, expression of uh, mathematical model of beauty beauty model right so if you have any doubt or uh, you can you can ask those doubt over here otherwise uh, they will be concluded we are concluding lecture here because it is 9.51 now uh, so you know, thank you for attending the lecture um, uh, the next lecture will be will be starting with them this particular math mathematical expression and based on the mathematical expression or beauty model that that particular model will be uh, solving uh, examples okay thank you again uh, if you have doubts please you can have the uh, ask the doubts otherwise you can leave